What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're mostly going to be talking about Megan 2.0 in this video here today, which you know is the sequel to Universal's and Blumhouse's successful AI killer doll film that we got earlier this year titled Megan. Uh, James Wan recently teased that Megan is coming back in a big way during an interview with Empire. No real specific plot details were given, but he said it's early yet. But Megan is coming back in a big way. The first film came just at the right time when concerns about AI were mounting and we're definitely leaning into that on the next one. So while no specific plot details were given, a specific idea of where we should expect the plot to go was given. And that's they are going to be leaning more into the concerns surrounding AI, I would imagine. Uh, he said, we're exploring the AI universe even further. The only logical path right now that I can see happening next during Megan 2.0, going off of what happened in that first film, is a rival toy company mass producing this toy and then it bites them in the ass. G Gemma and Katie are likely going to be ignored in favor of making a profit off of the masses and it'll be a storyline used to speak to how corporate greed got so many harmful decisions. Megan also I think had her soul if you will it's not a soul obviously but her conscious consciousness uploaded into Gemma's or Gemma's voice assistant at the end so maybe she's hacked a plethora of devices to hide what really happened at that press conference at the at the end of the film which would only fuel the mass production of Megan because she's hiding her tracks it will fuel the mass production of Megan dolls and it makes Gemma and Katie look crazy as fuck as she intended. Kind of a kind of in ways similar to what the fallout was from the events of Child's Play and what we heard at the beginning of Child's Play 2 with Andy, Karen and Mike. Uh, honestly, as, as similar as it would be to Cult of Chucky even, would it be so terrible if we had an army of these AI dolls? Not only does a rival company make Megan a major sensation across the nation, but let's make the doll taller, which in turn makes it more menacing, depending on how it's executed on screen, because she was already scary as is. But imagine a bunch of five foot, 10 inch sized Megan's wreaking havoc. Not to say that it couldn't be overly cartoony. It all depends on the execution. But that is a, a path they could explore. They could go the Gremlins 2 route, if you will. We have so many AI-based films right now. I just hope that Megan 2.0 doesn't come off overly preachy and sticks to being a horror film that has a timely story but isn't beating you over the head with a message about AI. I think the first film did that very well without being extremely preachy, so I'd like to see part two expand or lean into the ai stuff a little bit more like juan says but not in a way that treats me like i'm an idiot i think the film is supposed to drop in january of 2025 that was the announced release date that we got i know it's coming 2025 for certain but even that do even that release date that we have might shift due to the ongoing strike because as of now to my knowledge there is no script ready either because jason blum said this back in february and then we know later after February, in May, I think, that's when the writer strike started. So if they didn't write anything in between February to now, or in between February to May, they definitely might be cooking it up now, but I don't think they were writing anything. I could be wrong. This is what he said back in May. He said, we've got to write a script. I mean, or back in February, he said, we've got to write a script. I mean, you gotta give us a little bit of time. The creative process suffers when you rush. You pretend you're not making a compromise or you're not making compromises, but you always do. So I wanted to give us enough time to make the movie great. And we have that now. And we have the whole team coming back and we're not having to hire a writer or a director. All those people are in place. So it's nice to know that Akila Cooper is gonna be back as well. That was announced when we got the sequel announcement earlier this year anyway though, but it's nice to know that she'll be back after they set, not Universal, but after Warner Brothers, and this is me being funny, after they set her up with trying to come in and fix the nonsense, I'm not going to put that all on Akilah. She was coming into a terrible playground and told to make make a make magic happen out of something that was irreparable as far as I'm concerned <laughs> with, with that nun sequel. So James Wan also said this about this bigger world teasing that we could get a universe of sorts with Megan. He said, what I will say about that is in any of my movies, whether it's The Conjuring Universe or Saw or Malignant or Megan here, we like to think of a bigger world. For me, it's about creating the world and knowing who the characters are, where the story could potentially go. 
and knowing who knowing who the characters are where the story could potentially go and then building this bigger world and then going into that and going okay i'm telling this particular story but i know other stuff that's going on so if we're fortunate enough to have sequels which you know we they are going to have a sequel then we have an idea of where we want to go as he pointed out they want to lean more into the conversations of the concerns surrounding ai so we'll see how that plays out when it comes to megan 2.0 when that arrives in 2025 sometime hopefully not too far away from its original release date if it doesn't get to keep that because again i think it's supposed to come january of 2025 you guys let me know what you think about megan 2.0 down in the comment section below what do you think about those details that Juan teased i do want to lead off into one last thing i want to share regarding scott derrickson's upcoming film titled the gorge which we know is going to be starring sigourney weaver miles teller and anya taylor joy in the well anya anna and miles are going to be the two stars of the film scott derrickson is directing who we know directed the black phone directed sinister and it was written by zach dean now with the ongoing strikes everything has been kept under wraps as far as plot specifics go what I'm going to do, though, is tell you what to expect with the Gorge and what the secret is that isn't being shared already in the news outlets due to the ongoing strikes. So the Gorge is actually going to be a genre bending film that follows two elite soldiers played by Anna and Miles who are assigned a mysterious mission to guard either side of a deep and impenetrable, and impenetrable gorge without knowing what actually not lies beneath them. Now, see, what lies beneath them are zombies. You're getting a zombie film with Anna Taylor-Joy, Miles Teller. They they also have like a romance going on during the film. I've heard that the movie is very good, but you don't have to believe me. It'll be announced in the media soon rather than later. I don't know when. Of course, of course, again, everything's being held off due to the ongoing strikes. But the upcoming Gorge film from Scott Derrickson with Miles Teller and Anna Taylor-Joy, it's a zombie film. And there's a love aspect to it at the center of it between those two characters and Sigourney Weaver is in it and I'm told she does a phenomenal job as well last thing I want to say is Miles stars as Levi and Anna seems to be starring as a character named Drassa or Drassa but again this will all be confirmed in the media outlets sooner rather than later you'll see for yourself this is all legitimate but of course some of you won't believe it until you have it in the press but let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. There's a video in the description. I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. If there's any movies, news, or reviews, let me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.